Okay, folks, SD80 Mac time on the Norfolk Southern Coal District. Yay. And you'll notice my cab image has changed again. Yeah, I'm getting good at this now. We have another another background, but this time it is an SD80 Mac. Hey, non Bon Valley Dispatcher, CSX train 4596, you are cleared to proceed to New World Dog Catch will relieve you. Over. Very, very long trains in America, and it's obviously going to take a little bit of time to get the, uh, the wheels rolling on this one. points due to wheel slip. Dear oh dear. Yes Tom, the weather is fabulous isn't it? Really fabulous. Hey there, Mummer of Two. How's it going? Hey there Union Pacific, welcome to the channel again this evening. Hey London Underground, the new face, welcome to the channel. Yeah, I thought I'd change the background. Uh, it's an SD80 Mac this time to uh, commemorate the fact that we're driving the SD80 Mac. It seems reasonable. Yeah, it's a very long train, London Underground. Very long train. Reread and uh, Edmonds. Uh, what's planned for tonight? Okay, well, we're going to see how we get on with this one. I'm not, I'm not rating this scenario at the moment, I have to say. I'm going to think I'm going to be raising uh, some feedback on this one. Um, but let's see how we get on. Um, what else are we planning? Uh, we had a request for Preston Carlisle, so I'm going to probably do some of that. And uh, I think I was going to have another look at uh, Falmouth Branch. Uh, and uh, yeah, see how we got on with a little bit on the Falmouth branch. I quite fancy a little run on the pannier. Mike inspired me.
Hey there, Rail Librarian. Thanks for the follow, my friend. Much appreciated. So we had a request from London Underground to see the back of the train, possibly because it's slightly less noisy back here. But this is the back of the train, complete with the uh, end of train device. We are slowly managing to pick speed up, but we're already uh, getting to where we're running really, really late. Uh, or not actually. Let me think. Um, so the ETA calculation has just got really, really late, but we're only 0.2 of a way and we're approaching it. So uh, we may yet make it on time. Let's get back in the cab. You are very welcome, Mel Librarian. That was my hope um, with these videos. Um, that reminds me, um, tomorrow I need to finish that freight scenario off um, so we can get the last bits done on that. Hey Delano, uh, how long Mumro 2? I don't know, but if you look at the uh, the hut down the bottom there, very, very long. So, we are coming up to Waynesburg Helper on the HUD and uh, our instructions to go via there. We're due there in um, two and a half minutes. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's just here. So I think that's where we'll trigger the, uh, the points. Time. Let's see how we're going to get to the next one. It's Wayne at Main One at uh, three minutes, three miles. Uh, Underground Mad, we don't actually have moderators on this uh, channel. Not, not for the time being. There's not really enough people. I think everyone can behave themselves. Um, once we've got uh, 100 or so viewers on at any one time, then we're going to need to start thinking about uh, moderators. But uh, I think for the time being, just kick back and enjoy. Uh, let's see what time we get Underground Mad for the 142. Um, I've done several 142 videos in the past and uh, I've had a couple of requests which I'd like to get fulfilled today. But if we have time, let's see, uh, let's see what we can do. If we don't, maybe we can put it on the list for tomorrow. I can finally turn the sander off. Outstanding. And I've got an achievement, SD80 Max CSX Engineer. Woohoo! Plus more points due to wheel slip. Wow. Wow, 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 you just need to sand the entire time. Uh, Delano, no, I don't have any Dutch trains, I'm afraid. Pretty much all I've got is everything on the uh, Steam DLC library. Speaking of which, if you don't have a train simulator yet... Okay, so the horn on the CSX SD80 Mac doesn't seem to want to let me do a short blast. It just does the bell, okay. So, uh, yes, if you don't have a train simulator yet, it's 85% off at the moment on Steam. 
that you need to take advantage of. Now is a good time to get the Steam Edition version of the game, which has a whole bunch of extra content. Um, and uh, yes, pay very little for it, really. So we're doing the speed limit now. ETA is creeping up again, but it did before, so I'm not too worried. I think it's because the ETA is measured on when you re reach the end of the waypoint, which you'll notice we still actually haven't done, but the actual triggers are calculated at the beginning of the waypoint. So, go by Wayne, Wayne, Wayne at Main 1. I'm sure that isn't going down, but maybe that's just because we're not going fast enough. Let's double look on the map. Okay, all looks reasonable on the map, let's just keep an eye out and uh, see how we go. It stopped raining, we can turn that annoying noise off. Let's get the sand to go in and throttle back up again. Thank you for the offer, Delano, but that's okay. Um, if uh, when I start looking at Dutch trains, I will. Um, why don't I start speeding up? It's because uh, I've only just got into the 25 limit, and if I speed up too much, this thing just wheel slips. Um, yeah, it's just not got much guts in it at the moment. That's with sanding on as well. <coughs> um, sorry, yeah, Delano, thanks for the offer. Um, I know um, Chris does some really good Dutch trains, so uh, I'm keeping my eye on those. But if I'm honest, I've got so much to do just with the stuff I've got. Hey Panos, welcome to the chat and Tabridge. Oh, except Tabridge has left. <laughs> yes, it's getting this train as accelerated has been a struggle right from the beginning of the scenario. I've got Sander on and if I try and ramp the throttle up to notch 3, it just slips. Thing. Ah, because it stopped raining. Aha! Uh -huh. <coughs> hey there, Dream Binks. Welcome to the channel this evening. Yes, the rain stopping appears to have had a massive impact on the um, adhesion, which means we can now accelerate a bit better. Should have realised that really. I'm just going to use the bell, which you can't hear internally. Or externally. Where's the bell? Okay, so I can't hear the bell. Uh, Dribbling, so lined up today we're going to have the uh, CSX SD80 Mac on Norfolk Southern Coal District, which we are doing right now. Then um, something on the Preston Carlisle route, which I'm going to have a look at next. And then um, something on the Falmouth branch. Just to uh, do a little bit of steam. And uh, Mike was saying yesterday he was having some difficulties with a particular scenario, so I thought why not have a go at that one. The question back to Mike is, if you're still around, 
Are you still there, Mike? If you're still there, did you finish that scenario in the end? comes the adhesion of them. Now I'm losing points due to wheel slip. Crank down the engine. So we've missed our gold medal now because we've lost 105 points. Boom. Let's see now, due into Wayne Main 1 in one and a half miles, and ETA is currently ahead of schedule, which is excellent. Hey there, uh, I am Sean, welcome to the channel again this evening. going downhill now, so uh, the train's going to start accelerating all on its own. Hey there, it's 101. Thanks for the follow, much appreciated. I don't have modern Falmouth line, although I have seen it around. There you go, we've got another 200 points. And 
the green light. Excellent. I think you missed .com off at the end of there, Mama too. Wish they consider a Chicago to Buffalo route in future developments. Midwest trains are lacking both our roads. Yes, I completely agree. Given the importance of Chicago in railroad history, um, I completely agree with you. It's certainly something I'd like to see. Chicago L car has been uh, a route I've liked the sound of for a while now. Um, particularly set in the um, sort of the 19th. 40s, 1950s. I want to see some nice Hudson J3As and E3s. I think that would look quite nice. So coming up to a 20 limit, so uh, time to get this monstrosity of a train slowed down. Hey there Mark, welcome to the channel. And, and Nico, welcome back. <laughs> Helps if I turn the microphone on. Okay, next waypoint is Mather in about three and a half miles. ETA is currently ahead of schedule, which is good. HS1, HS2 trains. Uh, well, of course, there's one HS1 train, which is the uh, Class 395 Javelin, uh, and it's a little stretch of the HS1 from Ebbsfleet back to St Pancras, but that's all there is at the moment. Um, we've had the suggestion to do the uh, HS1 uh, from a number of people, so. Uh, Rest assured, we're well aware of that idea. Hey Nico, uh, no class 91 today, 
However, uh, let me make a note of it uh, for tomorrow. Um, we should be able to do that tomorrow. What does everyone think of my shiny new background image, which is uh, an SC80 Mac cab? <laughs> Marshy and Harry Harding, welcome back to the channel. Unfortunately, a uh, small error with the horn on the SD80 means that you can't do short blasts, which makes doing your long, long, short longs for uh, crossings so uh, rather more tricky. So I'm just sticking to a single horn blast because I can't do it right, so I'll keep it easy. I will refer, refer it back to the uh, team though, definitely. We are currently heading downhill for the looks of it. Albeit, barely, it's a 0.3% grade. That's where we are folks, about halfway along the route. Just chipping in a little bit of dynamic brake every now and again just to uh, trim the speed and then when it drips, drifts too far down just a little bit of throttle to get it back up again. Yeah on a shallow gradient like this though it's actually not too bad, it's different when you've got a train this long and you're going down the 2.5% on the uh, the Canadian mountain passes are the, uh, near the spirals. That's uh, that's a bit more tricky. At that point, you need to have the uh, your minimum service air application, and you need to vary your dynamic brakes. And that's that's actually good fun. At that point, going down a hill is challenging. Hey, Harry Harding, well done. Excellent deal. Welcome to the channel, Head Again HD Gaming. I say one more time, I'll probably say it many more times, if you do not have Train Sim 2015, it is on deep discount to the, um, for 48 hours in the Steam sale. So uh, now is a great time to pick it up for uh, uh, very little actually. Uh, you can get It is the Steam edition that's on discount, which is the one that's got extra trains. Um, I think it's even got an extra route in it, um, which you can pick up for uh, yeah, very little. So go and check it out. Yes, the, um, the wet has caused a problem for going uphill because we started out trying to go uphill and uh, you can't really, even with sanding, you can't apply more than notch two uh, before it starts wheel slipping, which is why I've lost 105 points, grumble grumble. I think hitting me for 20 points a second for wheel slipping just feels excessive personally. <laughs>
Actually, that's a very interesting idea about Liberia. I might knock up a quick scenario for a future show. Um, bring 844 down here, perhaps. I think that might be very interesting. That's a good idea. Either that, or let's make it really interesting and make it they do the ATN and consolidation. Yeah, none of this high-powered steam engine stuff. Let's have something small and uh, not powerful. Interesting. There's thoughts there, I think. Hey, lol. Good to see you on the channel. Thanks for joining us. Oh, that's such a bad pun, librarian. Double-headed Connies? Oh dear, oh dear. I'm trying to make it easy. I'll have to put double the number of wagons on if you want double-headed Connies holidations. <laughs> So what do you think then, uh, Librarian? Challenger? Is that what you're talking about? Chipping away at the score, waiting for the dynamic brakes to kick in. There we go. Let's see, get on with the speed limit, thank you. Just about to come up to Mather, and we're here <laughs> three or four minutes early. Excellent. Yeah, librarian, the um, the weather's been variable as we've gone along. It's actually spent more of its time dry than it has wet, so it's actually not been too bad. Um, and the occasional bit of wet weather has actually introduced an interesting element of challenge to the dry. It's just a shame that the penalty on the score was quite so hard. So, next waypoint is gate which is in four and a half miles or thereabouts
Wow, so we've got a massive problem with the... Um... Oh, the engine just pulled down. How did it do that? Let's turn the engine back on again. Dear, oh dear. Mashing the keys too much, panicking when the score starts getting drained. Put the sander on and let's get sped up. Hey there, Dark. Welcome back this evening. Hey, Speedy. Running the SDA to you asked for. Good evening, Alex. Yes, I'm running a short American freight train. I didn't want to do anything too long. Hey Speedy, um, there, there are steam sales um, as to what we're doing, I have no idea, it's, uh, I mean obviously we're all still focused on the uh, winter sale so uh, uh, we certainly have done a summer sale every year as well, uh, definitely, <clears throat> but that's not till July so if you need add-ons now is the time to get them and you do need add-ons, <laughs> uh, yeah. what's the horn and bell sound like? Not so good, but the horn sounds not bad. Unfortunately, that's the minimum sound that you can have. You can't have anything shorter, which makes a, a long, long, short, long um, a, uh, a challenge. You can't really do it. So, uh, and the bell sounds, well, I can't actually hear it. So, yeah, I'll raise, I'm going to raise both of those as uh, problems for the live thing to look at. Uh, I have no idea how many cars I'm pulling. Um, so I think they're loaded. Yep, they're all loaded. I think I'd probably guess something like 80 cars, maybe.
Maybe you guys could uh, correct, uh, correct me if I'm wrong or clarify something for me. Would you expect this one to have flashing pitch lights? My understanding is that it should, because CSX trains pretty much all have flashing pitch lights, but I'm prepared to be wrong. I'll raise that as another bug then. It's a nice little horseshoe. What a train, eh? What a train. That's no class 375. Alex, top five UK routes. Oh dear. Um, yes, I believe Norfolk's other Dash 9 should have flat ditch lights. I don't know whether ours do, they, but I think they do. Um, it depends when they were done, because uh, older ones didn't. So, what are my favourite routes? Um, London to Faversham, London to Brighton, um, Preston Carlisle, if you want modern. If you want something a bit older, then the uh, West Coast Main Line over Shap is a nice sort of steam diesel transition era. Um, if you want something with lots of short stopping stuff, then South London Network. If you get South London Network and London Brighton, then there is a workshop download which will actually join the two together and create a new version which actually combines those routes, which is very cool. Um, what else is the... I'm sure I'm missing some. Let me think on it a bit. London to Peterborough is pretty good if you like uh, sort of the high speed thrash. Yes, good call there, Dark. The Woodhead route, and indeed Settle and Carlisle, which came out around the sort of after that one, I think. Um, both excellent routes. It really depends what you, what sort of thing that you uh, you like to drive, Alex. Yeah, I know, Rail. Well, I'm tired. I don't quite know why, but uh, I am. <laughs> I've done a little bit of Woodhead, I've done some Settle, I've done some South London, I don't think I've done London Brighton yet, I think I've done some London Faversham, so if you look on YouTube Alex you can see most of those um, on there, um, if it's steam and diesels then probably, I mean West Coast Mainline over Shack, which is diesels and electrics, and West Coast Mainline, um, sorry, Western Line to Scotland is steam and diesel. Um, those would be two really good ones to hit for that. Coming up on gate main one, which is 
a waypoint. Uh, let's see what the next waypoint is. Stop at our main signal, which is here. Good job we checked that. I had a sneaky suspicion we'd be stopping in a minute. Started the braking process, ready for the uh, the waypoint up ahead. Mon Valley Dispatcher, CSX 4596, this is dispatch. You've got Norfolk Southern Train 8073 on the single track up ahead. Stop at the signal and wait for clearance to proceed. Over. Nothing yet, Mama of Duke. It won't be for a long time before anything is done on that. If there is, it's just sitting in a pile at the moment, waiting to be some thought about. Right, so we've just got to come up to the signal now, get the train in the waypoint, and uh, then we can bring it to a stop. You'll enjoy Western Lines. Um, I think I've done at least one or two on Western Lines. So, uh, yes, you should find that uh, you'll get a lot of good fun out of Western Lines. There's several other um, DLCs been released for it, if I remember rightly, as well. Different diesel and steam engines, so the, uh, the clan, for example, the 6MT clans, which actually were uh, were based on the Western Lines of Scotland route. Uh, they based on uh, Carlisle, I believe. So there's some there's a few bits of DLC you can get to go with it as well. We don't generally do, once a, once a loco, so if it's available bundled as part of a route, we generally don't do it separately. So uh, I don't think there's much chance of that happening, I'm afraid, Speedy. Due in to stop at this waypoint in about four and a half minutes, so uh, I think we've got plenty of time.
Hey there, Coles. Thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Hey, so Carlos and Coles, welcome to the channel. to stop not sure what you mean uh, Coles oh yes there's someone um, being a pain let me deal with that Come Valley. Okay, never mind. I won't bother reading it. What have we got here? Achievement unlocked. Excellent. Right. One moment, please, caller. What do we get in the end? We got 852, so we got the gold, the bronze medal. Silver medal, even. Oh, that's excellent. And we got some points. 27,000 now. Woohoo! Right. Uh, yeah, sorry, Coles. I didn't quite follow what you mean about Christmas timetable. Do expand. Okay, let me sort out the next one for the evening. 